Hi guys, it's Aga from Arvis Artists and today we'll finish modeling the plant. This is the last part of the tutorial, so make sure you watch the first parts before starting this lesson. I put the links in the corner. We'll be using the GrowFX plugin. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. So let's open the file from the previous lesson. Let's start by applying the basic gray material. I will add the sky to the scene so we can see it better. Here is how it looks. I like it already. We won't use any maps. We'll just mix some colors. First, we'll add a couple of material IDs to randomize it. We can control the percentage of this ID. If all of them are set to 50%, there will be an equal amount of each of ID. I'll add some colors so we can see how it works. Next, we can add a vertex color to the object. Then, in the material editor, add a vertex color map to the diffuse dot. We have a gradient from black to white along the paths. I change colors so we can see it better. Another option is to randomize colors based on elements.
and the third option is to take color from the parent path. We'll mix them all together. Let's add a mesh to the first path and add a vertex color along the path. You can see that colors are updated. I will move it here so we have everything in one place. Now we can add coloring along the path and blend these two together. I will lower the opacity to 50%. Or we can use some blending mode. I will set up the colors of the first gradient. Then, I will change the opacity of the second gradient to 50% and adjust the colors too. We are getting there. Next, let's go to the Material Editor and add a gradient map to the Diffuse slot. Set it up so we have a white strip in the middle of the leaves. Then use it as a mix map. Blend darker and brighter versions of the vertex color map.
Then make this map a bit brighter and more saturated and use it as a transparent color. Adjust the transparency factor too. I will go back to the Gravex and make final adjustments to the color. And that's it! The plant model is done! I hope you learned something useful today. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a tutorial on how to do a tree in Gravex. That's it. Thanks for watching. And also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.